Hi everyone, we're about to hit a thousand subscribers, so thank you very much for all the support. We've got a giveaway in celebration, we're going to give away a couple E70s, so stay tuned to the end of the video to find out how to enter. Hi everyone, Harrison here from LED Torch Shop, here with a couple new LEPs to our range, uh, both from Lumen Top, got the Thor 1 and Thor 2, super compact lights, really, really nice beam patterns on them both. Uh, but before I get into the showing you sort of the ins and outs of these ones, we'll show you what you get in the pack and then we'll get into it. Da -da -da -da. So both come in boxes like this. Uh, we provide ours with uh, also a 18650 adapter and an 18650 battery. As is, as they stand, they both run off an 18350, which is sort of a half 18650 pretty much. Uh, same width, just a shorter length. Uh, we found that running LEPs, you sort of want that runtime. So we provide it with a battery extender tube and an 18650, which extends them quite a bit, but in a good way. Um, this is the Thor 1 and Thor 2 with the battery extender tubes installed. Now, as you can see, the size difference on the Thor 1 and Thor 2 is obviously quite a lot, but it's not anything that uh, would bother you because they are such a small torch anyway. Um, also get your user manuals for your outputs and run times and sort of the switch function as well because it is an e-switch. So yeah, make sure you read those uh, to keep yourself across the whole torch. The Thor 1 also comes with these glow tubes as well that sort of go around the tail here. You don't need to install them if you don't want to. The Thor 2 actually already has some pre-installed here. So when you've got the light on for a little bit, they'll light up and then when you turn the light off, they'll stay lit up for a little while. Like I was saying before, with the battery extender tube on both of them, uh, it's actually quite nice if you want to install sort of a rail mount or mount it to anything. It gives you a bit more space to sort of put that, I suppose, 25mm mount on there. So, whereas this, uh, as it is with an 18350, you don't have much space to mount it at all. But as soon as you put that 18650 battery extender on, you've just got a whole nice mounting uh, sort of surface to do. and. It does have a nice profile, it's just a little bit longer, nothing too crazy, uh, but yeah, it, it just makes it a lot easier to mount. And I found with the LEPs, you do want that run time there. Um, so having the 18650, I carry a lot of 18650s myself, so I uh, like the option that I can just sort of get those longer run times with the 18650. So the LEPs, I mean, just a quick sort of overview, they are pretty much all throw. You're going to get 1.2k distance of this tiny little Thor 1, which is just incredible. I mean, if you have a look at the lens there, the LEP in there is just phenomenal. And just, yeah, it's all throw in that one. And about 1.8k in the Thor 2, just because of a bigger reflector, really. Uh, as you notice with sort of open reflecting torches, the bigger reflector usually corresponds to a longer throw because it's just got more surface area to focus that light in and to get a little bit more distance out of it. So it seems to be the same in both the LEPs as well. Even though they've just, they can be so compact and still get super distance, it does seem like if you have a bigger reflector in your LEP, it's obviously going to be able to magnify that light in and get further distance. 1.2K for the Thor 1, 1.8K for the Thor 2, both incredible distances. I mean, I found the Thor 1 really enjoyable to use because it's so compact and it just goes so far. But if you're after that bit more peripheral view, it does give a little bit more sort of wider view angle. Um, the Thor 2 is really something to look out for. Max outputs on the Thors, you're looking about 400 lumens for the Thor 1 and 500 lumens for the Thor 2. So not a huge light output difference. It's more the distance you're sort of going for here in the two sort of models, I suppose. They're both IPX8 rated, so fully submersible underwater. One meter impact resistant. Uh, so some really, really good specs there. I mean, they don't come with any recharging ports, so just pull the batteries out and put a new one in there and you're good to go. Uh, so yeah, they're able to just keep them nice and compact, nice and slim line. Don't have to have any wires hanging off them. Um, so yeah, they just made a really nice light here from Lumen Top. Like I was saying with outputs and run times, obviously you're going to, run times are going to differ if you're going to use a higher capacity uh, 18650 or an 18350 of course, but they both have three modes. Uh, so the Thor 1, you're looking at low mode, is around 30 lumens and obviously yeah run times going to be a bit differently 
But with an 18350, you're going to get about two and a half hours runtime on that low mode of 30 lumens. And then you jump up to 150 lumens on the medium mode. You're going to get about an hour's runtime on that medium mode. And then when you jump it up to the high of 400 lumens, runs for about four minutes on that high high, and then it'll sort of drop back down over 40 minutes. And that's just the overheat protection in there. So it's saving the torch, uh, saving all the circuitry in there. So it's really nice that they've sort of built that into such a small light. And if you want sort of longer run times on obviously the high and the mediums, yeah, I'd put that battery extender tube on and grab yourself, um, yeah, longer run times off that 18650. Jump up to the Thor 2. Again, run times are going to differ with the batteries, but that it also has that three levels. So you've got the low mode is 30 lumens. And with both these lights, 30 lumens is, um, obviously it doesn't sound like a lot, and it's, it's not a lot of light, but being so concentrated, uh, it makes that candela really tight in the middle and makes it actually quite bright. So none of that light is really lost anywhere. It's just all concentrated on that one spot. So yeah, it does definitely throw out a long way on those low and medium modes. Medium on the Thor 2, jump up to 180 lumens, uh, which is, yeah, super usable light. You're definitely punching out a long way with that light. And then uh, level three high is that 500 lumen output. And again, yeah, that just pretty much just lights up everything out to that 1.8K sort of distance. Like I was saying before, they're both really impressive, super compact, tiny LEP lights. Definitely worth a look uh, if you're sort of in the market for a long thrower. The thing I found really useful with these ones is as a secondary light, they're great. You can kind of see how compact these are when they're running an 18350 and even both of them running an 18650 they're just super compact and nice to use so i mean having it as a secondary light that can see over a kilometer is absolutely a dream so then you can kind of carry your open reflector if you wanted to sort of light up the whole area but you can definitely do some really nice scoping with these lights uh, really out of distance which i think they really come into their own just being so compact and small it's definitely the way to go with these leps the main difference is that distance output. The Thor 1 is maxing out at 350,000 candela, uh, which is massive for like such a tiny LEP light. And the Thor 2 being a little bit bigger reflector, it's able to focus that light in a bit more. So you're going to get around that 700 and sort of 70,000 candela, which is yeah, again, huge. So obviously going to get that distance, probably no drama. I wouldn't necessarily use an LEP as my main torch just because it's far too focused for me. But if I needed to scope a sort of a long area and wanted to really penetrate through some trees or to a tree line or something like that over the top of a hill, I would definitely use one of these and then sort of put it away and then pick out an open reflector or a brighter torch and then light up where I sort of wanted to light up. Truly impressive. I'm really excited to see where sort of the LEP range goes with Lumen Top and a couple other brands that are sort of doing some cool things. So um, it'll be interesting to see if they can get some wider peripheral views because these are just so concentrated as you can sort of see behind me there. It's pretty much a dot at close distance. Does definitely sort of get a little bit bigger out at um, a longer sort of five, 600, 700 meters away. Uh, definitely lights up a little bit bigger, but yeah, it's gonna be really interesting to see if they can sort of maybe get that light a little bit wider so you can have a bit more peripheral view out at those sort of really max distances would be really interesting. But definitely go grab yourself a small LEP because you won't regret it at all. It's, uh, they're fantastic little lights and um, yeah, they're gonna run for sort of years and years as well and not lose sort of any distance from it. So I'll drop a link to the Thor 1 and Thor 2 below. Go check out the whole lumen top range but if you're in the market for a thor or you're in the market for an lep it's definitely worth grabbing one because they're a super fun light to play with and yeah they don't trans well super good on video but once you got one in your hands gee they're impressive but thanks for watching this one please feel free to like subscribe let us know if you want to see any content in the future whether you want to see comparisons or new lights uh definitely love hearing from you guys but thanks for watching this one and we'll catch you on the next one to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, with post notifications on, and drop us a comment below on which E70 you'd like to take home. We'll be announcing the winners in next week's video, so stay tuned, and thank you for all the support.